Hey friends, today we are going to be starting our Koinobori wind socks. So these are a special type of artwork in Japan that are used to celebrate Japan's National Children's Day. Ours are going to be a little bit more colorful than they usually use, but you can use whatever colors you want, whatever patterns, just as long as we are making it look like our fish. So our first step is to take a paper plate, regular old paper plate, and we're going to color it with markers. You can use whatever colors, whatever patterns you want to do, as long as your whole plate is colored in. Because what we are going to do is after it is completely colored with markers, I'm going to spray it with some water so that all of the colors blend together. So you have to think about that when you're coloring. You can use whatever colors you want, but be mindful of the ones you're putting next to each other. Because if you put like a lot of black, then your whole fish might be black. So I have two examples, and I sprayed them with water. These are them wet. All of the colors are going to mix together when it's wet, so that when it's dry, all of the colors are going to be very swirly and pretty. Second step is to make the pieces of our tail. So this one I already have done. And the, what I did was I took a blank white piece of paper, I took my markers, and I colored it in. Now you guys get to do whatever you would like to this, just like you did with your fish. My first example, I did lots of different colors in stripes. In my new fish tail, I'm going to do a bunch of patterns in a rainbow order because I did a rainbow fish, because you know Miss Borders loves some rainbow. I'm gonna make sure my colors go all the way down to the edge of my paper because I want my tail to be nice and long and to have color all the way down it. Once I am done coloring, it's time to cut them into strips because these strips are gonna be the pieces of tail that we attach to our fish after we're done decorating it. So after I cut these, I realize my last one's a little too thick and I just cut the excess off. You are totally allowed to do that. This is your artwork. Now, I am ready to finish. So this is my example that is all finished. It has its tail and it has its details, which we need to put on our new example. We're gonna draw the letter U all over our plate. This makes it look like it's fish scales because fish scales are in a pattern that looks like a bunch of U's hooked together. Just like with coloring your plate, you can use whatever colors you want. You can use one color, you can use lots of colors. It is totally up to you. This is your fish that is representing you. Now we also have to remember to put eyes because this is supposed to be a fish. So we have our fish scales, we have our eyes. Now it's time to attach it. But before we do that, we have to know whose paper it is. And if we write it with marker, sometimes we won't be able to see it. So you're gonna write your name with pencil on the back if you have not already so that we make sure who's, we know whose paper it is. Then I will help you with this. We're gonna fold, roll our plate into a cylinder, and then I'm going to staple it together so that we have a tube. You can see through it, it's round. It's supposed to be a wind sock. That means a type of flag where wind can flow through it. That's why it's open in the middle. Then we're gonna take the pieces of our tail and we're going to staple them on that wider part of our fish to make our tail. And you can tell me however you want your tail to go. I'm making sure that all of my tail pieces go the same way because that's how I want my fish to be. But that's our last step. When you're done with that, you are done with your koi fish and it is ready for the hallway. We have our name there so everybody knows whose it is. Great job.